Okay, so you can see here what we're doing is we're doing overlapping patterns going east-west over a few square feet at a time. We work in small sections. When we come back in here, you can see now we're going north-south. And so you see how what it does is it blends in and we feather in, we overlap previous spots that we already did. And there's our setup here in the other room. So you can see we prefer to do it, you know, when it's completely empty. We'll have everything all laid out there, everything's protected. We have cloths spread out just everywhere. Now here in this place, of course, it's completely bare. It's a concrete floor. Concrete floors are just everywhere. So we don't really have to be con too concerned about covering a whole lot of things up. Okay, now here you can see we're in the bedroom and we have a couple of doors tied together that are ready to be sprayed as soon as we're done with the ceiling. We'll switch paint there. But if you look up at the ceiling, you can see where it's white on the right where we've already painted. And the yellowish part that he's spraying over right now is the, the way the rest of the ceiling looks. And when you're going to do this kind of painting, I would suggest that you do it with a sprayer. And if you don't have one, either rent one or get a friend that has one because you don't want to be rolling over popcorn with with rollers. What we've found is usually when they spray this stuff up originally, it's done with real cheap, cheap paint and sometimes no paint at all. And so if you get it wet with a new paint, it'll just start crumbling and falling apart. And we've even seen where when you're rolling it, it just cakes off in huge chunks. So you really don't want to get this stuff wet. In fact, that's how the popcorn removal guys get rid of it anyway as they come in and they spray the ceiling real quick with a hose and dampen it and uh, so anyway you can see here like we've mentioned before we're going east west and north and south and the reason why you work in these small sections at a time is that notice how it's like a choreographed dance see how there's kind of a rhythm going when you're doing it so you kind of go in one direction, then the other, and it's, uh, it's very well choreographed. So you develop a pattern. You want to keep a good rhythm going. So there's the ceiling completed there. And you really can't tell until it's dry whether you need to come back and, and do more on it or not. But typically, we get it pretty good. This would be a perfect time, if you haven't already, to hit the subscribe button down below. And once you hit that subscribe button, you'll see that little gray bell. Click on that, and that will alert you to every time we put a new video so that you'll never miss a video. And also, if you like our video here, you can click on the thumbs up button down below. That lets us know that you like us. And any questions you have, please enter them in the comments down below, too. So now we're doing the little hallway that leads from that bedroom into its bathroom in the closet area. And uh, again, I wanted to remind you, you know, there's a lot of overspray with this. So you need to make sure that if you have furniture and carpeting and stuff that everything gets covered. Now we're doing it, as I said, in an empty unit where it's just concrete floors, so we have no problem with that. And you always want to make sure you're wearing a mask, that you have eye protection, and I'm talking really good masks so that you don't breathe in any of these fumes. And you can see the little flux of it falling down in front of the camera here because that's what the overspray does. It settles down onto the floor. And so later on you can, you can vacuum up any of the dried overspray. And so here we are now doing the big living room. And again, a section at a time have a nice good rhythm, a good choreography going, and you overlap each of your your tracks there. You don't want to see any visible track lines on the ceiling from your spray pattern. So if you look, it, I think it's got about a 12 inch spread when it hits the ceiling there. So you just keep that in mind and overlap each one of those those tracks because when it's all said and done, you want it to look like you were never even there. So you can see how these overlapping coats here are just eliminating any possible hint that we were ever even up there. And yet look how much brighter and wider that ceiling was and it just lightens up the room. 
Now here we're spraying primer on the drywall ceiling in the kitchen. And it's done the same way. So you have to do this primer layer first. Anytime you have new drywall, you always want to have primer first, otherwise the paint will have a hard time sticking. And then once it dries in about an hour and a half or so, you can come back and uh, you can come back later and spray on your paint. But you can see here we go east, west, and north, south. So that when we're done spraying the ceiling here, it should look completely uniform with no lines. Here you can see we are about to now paint the AC registers using the semi-gloss paint that we are using on the doors and the baseboards. So we don't ever buy new AC registers anymore. It's a waste of money. All you got to do is paint them. And when these are done, they're going to look absolutely perfect. Nice, shiny, and white, and they'll look brand new. That was, what, about 10 seconds? You can see how they're already nice and white. They were silver before, and they're nice and perfect white right now. So here we're getting ready to paint the baseboards here in the living room floor before we lay down the flooring because this is the only room in the house big enough to hold these 16 foot long baseboards and it's much more efficient to paint these with a sprayer like this than it is to waste time rolling it and painting it with paint brushes pretty much one coat is all we need when we do it with the sprayer but oftentimes when you roll it or use a paintbrush you have to come back with a second coat You can see in about five minutes we'll have all 12 of these baseboards painted. Where normally it would take you five minutes just to put one coat on one baseboard if you were rolling it by hand. hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give us a thumbs up below that tells us that you like us and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and click on the bell icon that will tell you every time we get a video uploaded and we hope you enjoyed this one and we will see you next time